Good afternoon. I'm here at the Fisher Towers Trailhead, and this is located just outside Moab, Utah. And this is incredible out here. Official start time, 2.18. This is mind blowing out here. The drive up to this trailhead was probably one of the most scenic drives I've ever done. And I think I'm headed up into that stuff. I just got done with Grand Staff Canyon to the Morning Glory Natural Bridge. And that had a total elevation gain of around 400 feet. This one's got a total elevation gain of around 740. So I think there's gonna be a lot more up and down. And so far there is. Ooh, this is soupy. Campbell's thick and chunky. I guess the trail goes this way. Huh, I wonder if I have to go all the way down there. Here's a sign, so I'm still doing it right. This is cool. I don't like the direction that this trail is going. I'm hiking away from the towers right now. But I'm seeing Karens and stuff, so I don't know. See, there's more down there. I had to stop for a equipment adjustment. Had to put the poles away and also put those jangly micro spikes away because I don't think I'm gonna need them for a minute. If I do, I'll get them back out. But I was sick of hearing them. Yeah, I am completely off the trail. I'm supposed to be up there by the towers, not way down here where there isn't even a trail. Oh my God, oh, that was a half mile the wrong way. And it was all downhill too. I mean, this feels like the trail to me. It's not very well defined, but there have definitely been quite a few people on this. Okay, I just went up and down this other little staircase that looks like it was built on purpose. And that basically takes me right back up to where I started on that top thing. So I believe this is the way you wanna come down here instead of going all the way down there and back. So yeah, let's stay here. 
yeah i believe this is going to be it and that is going to make going back so much easier yep i'm back on the sloppy trail again all right cool i'm back in the game that little detour cost me eight tenths of a mile so if i can get all the way to the end and back i'll be looking at roughly 5.3 instead of the normal 4.5 Tell me where I'm at. <sighs> Dang, <laughs> after looking at that map, I still have a long way to go. I'm basically right up here by the trailhead for the most part. I'm only two tenths a mile away from it. <sighs> Hope I don't run out of daylight. All right, let's do it. Boy, I'm messing this thing up. That's all right. These are really pretty mess ups. And as long as I don't run out of daylight, I'm okay with it. But I might have to put my spikes on right here. My goodness, look at this out here. This is unbelievable. I'm not gonna go quietly on this one. I'm gonna keep pushing until I get out there. I'm super close to putting my spikes on. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna do it. This looks slick as heck. This is cool though very epic but it has a lot of up and down all right we've got another map here let's see how far we've come Wow, I just went through some quicksand right there. That thing is huge. Huge. I am destroying my micro spikes on this hike. It goes from being sheer ice to rock to mud. I stopped to take the spikes off. I got them hanging off the front of my backpack. And they're so caked with mud that they're not even jangling. That thing looks insane. I just passed this girl. She was on the way back. And she said she had been coming down for 40 minutes. She said it's gonna get dark at 5.30. That's two hours from now. And I still got like a mile left. So, I don't know. I might be coming back in the dark. Either that, or I gotta turn around before I get to the end. Ha, ah, dang. That little detour cost me. We got some super slick ice 
under this snow. I just about bit the big one. Holy guacamole. I should probably put the spikes back on. Oh my goodness. I'm thinking that's at least two hours worth of light. This thing is insane. It's huge. I'm double timing it. I'm trying to get out there to the end of the trail. The sign said it was 2.2 out. I think I'm looking at maybe a mile left or just under. It's about 3.30 and I'm hoping this snow cleans my micro spikes off because they were totally caked with red mud. It was nasty. Just putting them on and off got me all like super dirty. This is a really cool area. All right, I took the spikes back off and this looks like some pretty fast hiking right here. Still on the right path and it looks like I'm gonna have to go down this ladder. Wow. No one said anything about a ladder, but that was pretty fun. It's getting a little dark out here. My shadow is getting a, a wee bit long. And the trail continues. I think I can see the end of it though. I'm gonna give it a few more minutes before I turn around. Yep, I think it's gonna be right out there. I think I can get that. I gotta keep moving though. Almost there. And if it wasn't for this girl's tracks, there's no way I would have found my way up this thing. These tracks are really helping. They're leading me right up. It's getting real steep here at the end. Spikes would help. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, come on with this. God dang, it's like just a sheet of ice. Come on. Come on. Let this be the end. Oh my God, does it keep going? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna keep pushing it. Come on, let's go. We're gonna get to the end. It's 4.05 right now. Let's go. Let's get this thing. Boy, I'm telling you, my hips are on fire right now. Everything hurts, but let's keep going. Home stretch. There can't be much more of this left at all. My goodness. Well, I don't see any tracks down there, 
so I don't think that's it. I think I'm at the end of it. I hiked around all that stuff. This thing's kind of serious. I'm gonna head back up over here and see if I can locate any other footprints, but I think that was it. I think I'm off the trail right here. I'm back on the footprints. Ugh. My goodness. This thing just keeps going and going and going. Yes. Yes. We got it. Trail end. Hallelujah. Wow, that's a tough hike. It's exactly 417 right now. So I think that means that took me two hours to get up here, which is pretty good. I think that girl said it took her an hour and 40 and she didn't go eight tenths of a mile in the wrong direction like I did. I can only hang up here for about three minutes. I'm gonna start going back at 420. And the good news is, is that the girl said that the hike back goes much faster which I'm hoping it does. I feel like most of this up to this point was all uphill. I mean, look how high up I am. Yeah, I feel like the trail hit is way down there. Man, I gotta go like in and out and in and out and in and out and in and out and all the way around. All right, guys, it is 420 and I think I'm looking at at least an hour and a half back down to the trailhead so I might have to do part of this in the dark but either way it's time to go it's time to head on back all right let's do it let's take it on back cool but I ain't got time for that got to keep it moving all right let's take it downhill for a while the problem with this trail is that you're either hiking on a sheet of ice or some real sticky mud. There's hardly any nice dirt on this thing. It's pretty brutal. They put a handle right at the top of that ladder. That is super helpful. All right, let's knock this little uphill section out and then I should have quite a bit of downhill. These trail conditions are no joke. It's making this hike a lot more difficult than it probably normally is. But this terrain is brutal. I'm not kidding, it's either ice or mud i was actually hoping the temperature would drop a little bit and 
freeze that mud up because it was soupy going through there. Real nasty. I mean, I was sliding all over the place. And I'm, whoa. Wow. Holy moly. I think I can get this done in the next 20 minutes or so. See, I missed this on the way down. I went a totally different way that was much longer. That's kind of cool. Got a nice colorful sunset. All right, and I'm back. It's just now 535. So that took an hour and 15 to come down. Two hours up, 115 down. Well, I hope you enjoyed that hike. And until the next one, y'all, peace.